Regulations on religious attire differ widely. Even in a secular country like India, with a strong belief in the motto unity in diversity, there have often been cases of discrimination based on religious attire. The headscarf has been at the center of controversy and debate globally for years. Six girls in a pre-university college in Karnataka's Udupi were barred from classes since January 1, 2022 for wearing a hijab. The girls have begun a protest which turned out to be a huge controversy, after which a meeting was organized to solve the issue but it failed to bring any conclusion. <laughs> Islam ni uni warki hok bedi wat ona mi dey wat holy day. Nobody are absent. Everybody are coming. Now when the kelti ro, nam the hijab. That is the Islamic rule. Nam do para par we have to do that. Showing no signs of abetting. Hijab row in the state has now spread to more colleges as girl students wearing hijab or burqa are being stopped at the entrance of the colleges. To resolve the issue, the Karnataka government set up an expert committee and until the committee recommendation comes, all the girls have been asked to adhere to uniform rule. Following the new state guidelines, the management of a government college in Kundapura, Udupi asked the girl students to not come to college wearing hijabs. When the students refused, Several Hindu boys came to college wearing saffron shawls as a sign of protest against Muslim girls wearing hijab. On February 2nd, students of Sir M.V. Government College in Bhadravati, Shimoga, also protested against certain students wearing hijab in classroom. These incidents stirred up the internet. Advocate Mohammad Tahir says that according to the government guidelines that were released earlier, the pre-university colleges in the state are prohibited from enforcing uniforms. Any college found violating the rule will be punishable. The chapter 6 of the guideline clearly says that there is a no uniform code in Karnataka in PU colleges. And they also said that there is, in spite of that, some colleges used to enforce students for the uniform code. And whenever such things are there, so there should be strict action has to be taken against those colleges. This is the rule says. And this rule who made? This is not I or you made it. This is made by the government itself. Hijab has been a topic of controversy not only in India but globally. France became the first European country to ban wearing face covering garments in public such as masks, burqas and niqabs. The right of Muslim women to wear the hijab has been contested in France since 1989 when three students were suspended from the school for refusing to remove their headscarves. There have been a number of suspensions since that time and in 2011, the country banned face coverings like the niqab and burqa. Many other countries then imposed restrictions on wearing religious symbols and garb in the workplace and public places, causing an outcry among activists and Muslims. Ultimately, the court ruled that company policies barring employees from wearing visible symbols of their political, philosophical or religious beliefs at work did not constitute direct discrimination as long as the same rules applied to religious symbols across all faiths. In January 2022, the French Senate voted to ban the wearing of religious symbols such as hijab in sports competitions, calling a huge outcry of Muslim athletes. Backing the ban of the hijab in the classrooms, the Karnataka government on 6th of February said that clothes which disturb equality, integrity and public law and order should not be worn. All government schools should follow the uniform dress code declared by the state government and students from private institutions should follow the dress decided by the school management. While most countries believe any type of face covering threatens national security, the Indian experts say that the opposing of the hijab in India is backed by political gains. 
which is a grave concern and raises questions like if teenagers are intolerant of other religions, what does the future of the country look like? Are schools now going to become the grounds for learning decisive agendas and intolerance? See, the beauty of our country is that we are a diverse country. There cannot be uniformity in a diverse country. And as far as the attire is concerned, or the, whatever one wants to wear is concerned, it depends upon the area, the climate, and the tradition, the culture which each one follows. And our constitution protects all these rights of an individual to have his own attire and to live as he is there with certain dignity. So hijab is one of the essential conditions for a woman in Islam. Looking at the rapid rise in the hate crimes against minorities in India, the level of conspiracies to segregate and target Muslims can't be disregarded.